Hey there, Social Blade fans. Dave here, and yet again, we're going for another Social Blade YouTube tip of the week. This week, we're going to be talking about color correction because it's something that you guys will probably have to do from time to time to some of your media that you produce, be it uh, if you're a vlogger and maybe you forgot to put the white balance in the proper setting or maybe automatic, uh, automatic white balance mode just didn't work out in that case. Well, there are some correction techniques that you can choose in both Premiere, After Effects, and many of your editing effect programs, but be aware that there are also limitations. I mean, if your video is pretty darn blue or red looking, you can get it close, but don't expect to get it back to the original because this is a secondary sort of correction process. So we're going to look at this in two different programs today. We've got Adobe Premiere Pro CS 5.5. Well, it's pretty much the same as any other program. And then we're going to jump into an After Effects application, which most of you people probably use, and it's great for color correction. I like working with uh, Premiere, though. So let's start off with this. we got our media here in the project panel we've in, uh, imported. And double-click it. We've set our in and out points after we've chosen the, uh, the timeline here in the preview monitor. So we're going to actually drag just the video over, in this case, for demonstration purposes. And once we see that, we have the issue here. So how do we correct this? It's a little bit blue. It's not crazy off, but I think we can get it back to uh, the original look, at least close to it. So let's go about into our effects panel here. We got the effects tab. We're going to search RGB curves. We don't want to do the RGB color corrector. That's something different. The RGB curves tends to work the best, and we're going to drag that onto the media here as we've done. Next, we have to go up to our effects control panel. And when we do that, we're going to change some things just so we can see what we're working with here. We're going to do a split view, which will show the before and after in real time. And we're going to do this vertically at about 50%, so to split the line right down the middle. Now, if we scroll down a little bit more here, you can see we have different things like your master, which is going to control your overall brightness. And you can under or overexpose things, so you don't want to move things too much. You got your red channel green and blue are underneath as well. So let's sort of assess what we have here. We have something that looks really blue because the white balance was set to a wrong setting. Naturally, we want to go and turn down the blues a little bit. But you don't want to do this too much because if you start doing it too much, look at how green it looks. So we're going to lightly adjust this, maybe turn down the greens a hair. In fact, we can make two points here. So we do an S style curve. And it still looks really washed out and underexposed, undersaturated. That's because the exposure is off. If you brighten it up quite a bit, you'll notice, hey, yeah, it's looking a little bit better. The exposure is a little bit better. That brings up the contrast. It sort of brings down the contrast in some bits. Uh, but it also brings up the saturation. So let's actually adjust this. We're going to make another key point here and sort of make an S curve on this a little bit so we can get more blacks in the lower end spectrum and then it adds a little bit more depth to it and it still looks a little bit blue maybe add a little bit of red to it to balance it and i'm sort of keeping track of the white here now there are color corrector um, applications that will actually allow you to choose the white bit in your scene if you have something we'll take a look at that in a minute but they don't really do all that great so we've got it here it's a little bit overexposed maybe we can Go back up here and change it by bringing it down a little bit more. And you can, of course, add layered effects, like add another color corrector. Let's do um, fast color corrector, which we can also jump on here. And that will apply right underneath here. And in that case, we can go under saturation in this one and go from 100%. We'll bump it up a little bit more. And that sort of adds a little bit of saturation. And, of course, you can do multiple different things, like adjust your input, clip the blacks a little bit more there. So once you have it, it looks fairly good, then then you can render it out. So let's say, hey, well, that's one technique we could do in, in Premiere here. Let's say we just wanted to work with the color corrector, the fast color corrector in here. Well, how does that look? And once again, I, I mentioned the eyedropper tool. If you have something white in the scene, this generally works really well because you can click that once and say, okay, what is white in the scene? Well, it's probably going to be this white part of the shed. And you'll know it does its best best job that it can, but it's really created it uh, to be a little bit red. The saturation is down. So let's go about boosting the saturation to about from 100 to 130. 
we can adjust the gamma here. We can clip the whites, make it a little bit brighter. Clip the blacks, make the, the uh, contrast a little bit more. And the saturation is still a little bit off, but you know, it is what it is. Some of these things work far better than others, and it comes down to the art of technique, and color correction really is an art form. So that's what both of these little color correcting programs, uh, applications and programs can do. Let's move on to After Effects, where we've got the same PC media. We're going to actually drag that into our timeline here, and uh, if you don't have the, uh, the composition here, you can drag the media onto the composition button, and it'll make one for you. So we have it here once again. Let's look under color correction on this right hand panel. It says effects and presets. And you got multiple different things. Now what I like to use is called curves. And we can actually drag this right onto the media. Now it looks a little bit different here. It's in the top left. If you don't see it, you may have to switch from project to effects controls. But we've got different things we can choose, such as RGB, which is the master, so you can make it a bit brighter, which we're going to do here anyway. Also adjust the contrast a little bit. And we're going to take down some of the blues. So we'll select that. The greens are really high. And turn those down a touch. More so in the darker areas. And add a little bit of red to warm it up a little bit, but not too much. In that you'll see uh, it just won't look too natural. And that looks fairly decent. I mean, once again, this was pretty bad. And you're not going to get it down to the perfection that it would have been if you set the camera properly from the start. But it's better than what we see here before. So make sure you guys set your camera properly before recording and then go about filming. If there's something that you can correct from the camera from the start, it's always best to do that. That way you don't have to spend time correcting it in post-production like we've done here. So that's how you color correct in both Premiere and After Effects, guys. Hey, what I'm going to do with this is actually post this in the Social Blade forums. And in the description of the video, you can find that post, as well as a link to download the piece of media I shot here so that you guys can mess with the color correction yourself. And what I want you to do is actually share a screen snippet of your results after the uh, color correction process that you did so that we could see how well you did and maybe get some pointers to you from other people that have done this in the past. It's truly an art form, so don't get discouraged if you guys think that uh, it looks like kind of crappy in the end because, heck, even I'm not a perfectionist at this. I'm not fantastic at color correction. There are trained people that could do this far better, I'm sure, but, you know, we mess with what we have and it's great learning experience to mess with it. So let's see what you guys can do. Hey, if you haven't already, Go and hit the subscribe button because we got another Social Blade YouTube tip of the week coming next week as always. And if you haven't followed Social Blade around the web, go find them and subscribe everywhere you can and spread the word. Also, don't forget to check your stats at socialblade.com to see how you're doing here on YouTube. I'm Dave, and this has been another Social Blade YouTube tip of the week. See you next week.